Amen. Well, that's what the Bible said. They, they believe. They also believe and they tremble. I guarantee you every one of them knows. Church has got away from a lot of stuff. But praise God, we better stand on the righteousness of God. That's who we are. We are in him. And he is in us. And that's who we are tonight. We're children of God. And we're sons of God. Amen. And we're filled with the spirit of God. We're Holy Ghost filled children of God. Holy Ghost filled sons of God. Hallelujah. Amen. And it's time for some of us to put the devil out of business in our lives. God wants him out. He's did something to get him out. And it's time we set our foot down and say, out you go. Glory to God. Some people say, could you do that? Absolutely, you can do it. Yes, yes, my brother. Yes, my sister. Yes, my friend. You can do it. Out you go. Glory to God. Amen. I don't like this old stuff. We can't hardly preach the word like we ought to preach the word for having to wade through so much junk people are steeped up in. They, 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 their stuff goes around and, and left impression with us that, oh, if you get close to God, brother, if you get close, now, I'll tell you all hell's going to break loose. And he'll fight you, he'll fight you day and night. I'll tell you the real truth. Seem like them fellows up there in jail tonight's got it pretty rough. Seem like them ones that's got prison sentences over their head, pretty rough. Seem like the ones laying in the hospital bed about to die, seem like they got it pretty rough. But what I've noticed, and I'm not down in any of those by no means, but what I've noticed, people got close to Jesus, they'd get healed and free. They'd just get close to him and they'd be healed and free. No burdens put on them. They wouldn't know the devil didn't come after them. The devil left many of them. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yeah. Won't you get rid of that old stuff? That's a bunch of baggage that nobody needs. This is the victory that's overcome the world, even our faith. We're world overcomers because of our faith, Brother Herb. Our faith. Our faith. I believe it, don't you? I believe I'm the righteousness of God in Christ tonight. Glory to God. And I'll tell you what, we get some of you pretty disturbed if we started questioning you too much about your, your salvation. As, as most people know it as being saved, you'd get pretty disturbed after a while. Somebody kept questioning you about it. Are you saved? You say, yeah, I'm saved. Well, how do you know you are? Well, I know I am. Well, how do you know? Prove it to me. Are you really saved? Is it you feel like you say, I feel like I'm saved. Well, okay. I, I can't tell if you are not really. I'm looking at you, but I don't know. How do you know you're saved? Well, Finally, you'll, 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 I believe on the Lord. Okay, believe on Jesus. Amen. Then we're going to get, when you get stirred up just right, you'll say, well, I believe what the Bible said about it. <laughs> Preacher, why you keep doing that? I believe what the Bible said about it. Yeah, there you go. Get stirred up right good. Amen. Yeah, ask me if I'm saved again. You say, yeah, I'm saved. I believe what the Bible said. I, I believed on Jesus, and I know I'm saved. Amen. Amen. I'm not the man I used to be. Well, get started up about it then. Well, how do you know you're healed? Well, I believe what the Bible said. Amen. Praise God. I believe what it says. Amen. Just like I believe that the Lord saved me. I believe I'm healed by his stripes. 
I believe he supplies my needs according to his riches and glory. I believe I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I believe he has love for me. Because the Bible says so. Glory to God. And that's our foundation we stand on for everything. And we ain't making stuff up. We ain't talking about ourselves. We're talking about him. Glory to God. And if we're listening to the Holy Spirit real good, he'll lift him up and he'll show us all about him. He'll show him and reveal him to us. Glory to God. Are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to invite Brother Herb up and he's going to come and bring the word. Bless our brother, Lord. Bless our brother tonight. And I appreciate this opportunity to be in here, too, and speaking a little bit. Brother Herb King. I appreciate being here. Heard some good preaching, some good preaching, and some good preaching tonight already. Heard Brenda do some good preaching. And you heard Kenneth do some good preaching. And I want to commend Brenda this morning on her good preaching. It's awful. Mighty good. Mighty good. Uh... All the words good, but I just wanted, I just felt like saying that, so I did. And what I'm going to do tonight, unless the Lord changes me, I ain't going to go along much with what we're doing, but it'll be the word. Is that all right? 